That happens really fast. Yeah. All well, right, Top Later folks, I'm your guest star for the moment, Othias from CN Arsenal. And because we happen to come out here to see Tao, and I know how much he likes mass accelerators, I brought the most interesting one that I could find on the wall back at home. This particular firearm is actually very simple. It's a single shot, single action, break open shotgun. What's happened on the other side is a little bit weirder than that. This is the Alof's repeating system. And in an era of extreme cost savings, the 1920s, this was a way for you to save a few bucks versus having to buy a repeating shotgun. You could take your good old, in this case, Stevens 94 single shot, and you could bolt one of these guys on, which was made by, well, actually the Alof Steel Company. The gentleman owning the place realized that since he was already working with sheet steel, he could just roll it up, add some springs in a very complicated fashion, and develop a system that would allow you, on ejection of a spent casing, to trip a lever and feed your next round. Closing the gun, well, ready the thing for fire. Being a single action, you still have to manually caulk, which makes this kind of weird overall. But let's get a closer look. All right, gang, let's load this thing up, which is a process unto itself. Uh, the number one most important thing is getting in a position with only two arms. Let's go ahead and get that carrier out of the way. So you can throw one in the magazine, and then when the carrier comes back, it feeds into the carrier. You can move that over. That's what that little plate on the left was for, is to hold that round from flying out into the oblivion. We'll put our second round in, and then let's just go ahead and get it. Oh, you know what? We'll do that, and let's put one in the chamber, because you need one in the chamber to really get this started. We'll seal that up, and we'll have to cock this as we get ready to fire. Using the Kronos high-speed camera, we're going to give you a better idea of how this very unusual system works. Now, Thias just took a shot and he has a spent shell in the chamber. To begin the process, he presses on this lever to open the action. The system utilizes the energy of the ejecting shell to trigger the mechanism. The shell flies out, hits this tab, and operates a sear which allows this really heavy spring to swing the transfer tube over. A spring inside the transfer tube shoves the fresh round into the chamber. Now all he has to do is close the action back up to reset the entire system. However, it does take a little bit more effort to fight against that big torsion spring on that transfer tube or carrier as Othias calls it. Once the action is completely closed and everything's lined up, a spring inside the magazine tube feeds another shell into the transfer tube. It's a really fascinating bit of engineering and probably saves a little bit of time where you normally have to grab the shell and chamber it manually. And if you were a hungry hunter in the depression era of the 1920s, that little bit of time savings might make the difference between getting that bird that will feed your family or walking home empty handed. All right. Uh deceptively complex but functional and at least a way to save a couple of bucks i hope you guys enjoyed this content as always subscribe to tau flater mouse if you'd like to see more like this and if you're into the old historical stuff come see us on cn arsenal have a good one all right i think it's just <laughs> you broke it now there we go huh? go ahead. all right I th oh, oh sorry <laughs> In the Depression era, you would save every dollar you could, and instead of spending $10, let's say, on a repeating shotgun, you could spend $6 on a single shot, and another 2 on something like this. And although, I'll put the actual videos up in just a second. Or, videos. Damn. I got through all that and I said the wrong thing. Alright, keep on going. Alright, top later, folks. Uh, I'm... What? Yeah, just try to keep it in frame. Sure, you let me know if I come yeah, out. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, that's not gonna check. Hold on. And. Okay. The ejector oh, okay. not working? Not sure what happened there. One second. Oh, is it the shell stuck in there? Maybe one second. Oh, 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 oh. It's like a shell stuck. Do you have an extractor? No, the extractor's there. It's just not auto eject. Probably the most awkward part is finding a way to hold that so that you can shove around in. Letter back forward. 
And it's gonna overfeed in the carrier because I bought it. <laughs> Let's do that again. Oh wait, stop. We've got more videos coming up with Athias and May. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.